humble bean. A very, very good source of protein. Very nutritious, especially for our muscular growth. Welcome to the farmstead. Today is a beautiful day and we are harvesting beans and bambara nuts. Some of you have seen our previous videos where we have planted beans and bambara nuts. And you are probably wondering, was this a side that she was standing to that side? It looks different. And you are right, it is different. Because this is the side of our irrigation. As you can see, here are some of our irrigation pipes. We planted this side in January, whereas the other one was planted in February. And you are probably wondering, what is she harvesting from here? Because if you look, if you take a close look at some of these plants, you would see that a lot of these have already been harvested. And indeed, we have been eating off these plants and they are almost done with their time. They are past their prime. If you can see on the other side of the main field, that is where I was planting the bambara nuts and beans for the video that we took. And I have some guys harvesting on the other side because those are in their prime. So, join me as we harvest some beans and some bambara nuts that are on the other side. And at the end of the day, we are going to combine my harvest, their harvest, and then we will show you a typical harvest for the farmstead and especially when it's harvesting season. Join me. Let me not talk too much. And as I'm harvesting, I have to take care because you still find those that are still very small. Um, this is a variety that you could eat them while they are like this, quite small and non-matured. If you don't like stringy bean and you want to eat it with the peels. But this is a traditional bean to me and my family. And it will be very, I don't know what's the right word, but it's, it's uncultural to eat it. Um, as a green bean, as um, immatured and with its peel. So we are not doing that in our family. So we are eating it the cultural way because we already have green beans that we eat for their intended purpose. And as you can see, there is a lot of damage. There is uh, crickets that have come through and um, done quite damage on this one. But there is also another insect, a flying one, that I have seen that really likes feeding on. Here it is. I'm spotting one. So maybe you can just follow me and come in. I don't want to disturb it that it flies away. There. So I think you need to come closer and capture it in action. And you can see the bean where it is quite small, nice and tender. And it have already done damage to that. Um, that's our typical, typical pest when it comes to beans. It's also the very same one that you find um, eating up my blooms or the blooms of the sweet potatoes. And if you are checking very well, you see some of the plants, uh, we already have dried beans. Some of this we eat as dried beans uh, or we simply leave for our seeds. But what I wanted to show you is this. This is a bean variety that you cook and you can eat with the peels. Um, as I'm harvesting, you probably see that I'm putting some of this in my pockets. Why? Because I want seeds from this. I don't want us to consume them. So I'm going to put them in my pockets um, and save seeds from them. A good farmer always have to think about ways to get free seeds and for tomorrow. You don't just eat until everything is depleted.
punta oke okay. amgo <laughs> nope i am gone nope There's still a lot to harvest, but since I have the guys on the other side, I want to start with the bambara nuts, um, just so that I could also give you a clip or a shot or, on how the harvests are. Um, maybe in another video, I will show you how I know the difference between the one that is matured and ready for harvesting, such as this, and this that is still not ready for harvesting. But that's a video for another day. Come along to the bambarani. Ow! Oh. Hey! Um, on the bambaranuts, I will talk to you briefly on how we know that it's ready for harvesting. So, you can see some of these plants. Whenever you see that the leaves have started yellowing and it's dying back, so when you look at that plant, and you compare it with um maybe you compare it with this one here if you compare that plant with the one that is here oh there's a wasp you can see that this is the greenery on this ones it's totally green as opposed to that one so that plant ready for harvesting it probably could go a little bit longer but we are harvesting that today so you can see there's one there one here one here but when you compare that to this then you know that that one is not have, uh, ready for harvesting but let me take out one just so that you can see what is happening underground this is another case of mining ah voila just see how prolific that one plant is so we are probably not going to harvest too many of those just to have a meal for today but other than that join me what is this almost ran So yeah, let me start gathering the nuts.
now that you have gotten an idea of what bambara nut harvest is like you have gotten an insight on how to grow them very nutritious and also how what are the stages of, of growth how do you know it's ready for harvest you can see this whole row all the way to that side is full of bambara nuts we are obviously not harvesting everything today we have already gotten a whole lot but i'm ending the video here although we are not ending the harvest here thank you so much for joining us in this harvest i have helped us on this one so i'm very appreciative but other than that we will catch you on the safer side on the next side and keep farming have a beautiful day